We'll now look at an RF inspector example to examine system spurs. Again, I'll open one of the standard examples that ships with VSS, type in RFI into the search index, and I'll pull up this example, RFI spurs sweep. So let's take a look at the schematic. We have a, an RF source following through a filter, an amplifier and a further filter and then a single mixer LO pair. The filters are designed to track the LO and we have an RF sweeper or a sweep var which will sweep through the various values of LO and it will show us the spurs for each of the various mix plans. So if I first run the simulation it will run through each of the LO combinations and finally present us with a sequence of spurs. Bringing up the tuner will enable me to cycle through the different values of LO and the corresponding tracking RF values for a fixed IF and it will show me the spurs that result from this for each value. So as I bring up the tuner and cycle through the different values you can see that the spurs are updated as we cycle through. I can now use RF Inspector to bring up a heritage report by clicking on any of the spurs on the spectral graph and it will tell me what order of mix plan caused that spur and which elements it actually travelled through. So if we pick one of the spurs, I can open the report and I can see that this is a distortion product and I can follow the generation of that spur all the way through the schematic. So if I click on any one of these spurs on the report it'll show me which element by linking through to the schematic that spur is actually travelled through. And we can see that this particular spur is a product of the local oscillator frequency and a distortion product. This concludes the software demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.